Hello my soccer universe. Well, my daughter and I worked very hard this morning to get it us all uh, to a La Liga background. La Liga is the one league where I'm still struggling with having, um, you know, 13 different teams, 10 different teams, one of which is in the second division. Oh, it's a really, really nice shirt. So I uh, definitely like that one. And I thought, yeah, be, to get you a little bit in the mood, so to speak. I will show you another shirt from my La Liga collection. I'm wearing the Barcelona 16-17 one. Actually 16 because only 16 they were wearing the World Cup winners uh, patch. And we're looking a little bit further south from Barcelona at this Valencia home shirt from 18, no, 1920. That's a 1921. Uh, yes. 1920. I'm I'm just uh, thinking because I have a Marseille one too. <laughs> it is a 1920 because 2020, 2021. That is slightly different one. So yeah, uh, got it right. The one that they played uh, against in the Champions League the last time, and they were eliminated by Atalanta, which is one of those events that actually really sparked COVID all over. Now uh, that I got in possession of this shirt is a rather interesting story because I already had this Valencia shirt back there, which I really, really love, uh, you know, based on the Valencian flag, also a little bit on the crest here. Uh, but you know, this was when we discovered, when I discovered Sportsbar, where I ordered a whole lot of Italian shirts, uh, Bologna and two um, uh, Hellas, uh, shirts and then I wanted to make a second order and you know my wife got in there and uh, added uh, Granada I think and then um, we saw this one I think it was around 20 at most and my wife said I like it and I remember when I uh, first saw this one I never understood this uh, orange color it kind of a little bit weird but then it actually makes this shirt less boring to speak I mean I really like I mean Valencia shirts I, it's almost perfect Valencia home shirt. I mean, you want to have it white, uh, preferably black pants. And, you know, if you have a little bit orange, I'm fine. I even like the um, black taping here uh, on, the, um, on the shoulders. Of course, it comes with La Liga patch, which is always something nice uh, with Spanish teams. Uh, and uh, despite, you know, it's a betting company, but even the sponsor looks nice uh, as compared to what they have now. So there's really not much to hate on this one. Uh, there's also a very, and I, again, a white shirt and light, this doesn't really <laughs> work that, that well. There's a very, very uh, minor shadow striping effect in there as well, which gives it a little bit more um, structure in, 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 in a way and also kind of a little bit more of a retro feel, but I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. But as I said, uh, it's a really uh, decent shirt. It's actually nice and nice to wear. Um, it also has this, uh, like the Marseille shirt, this feature where, uh, yeah, we have this taping on the back, but it's kind of held together by the collar. So interesting uh, in that sense. In terms of ventilation, what can I tell you? Yeah, the back is very well ventilated. I mean, it's, it's a classic Puma template. Uh, it's all overall... <sighs> There's not much wrong with this shirt. It's just uh, not a super exciting shirt, but then it is a typical Valencia shirt and that's all what you need from Valencia. Uh, why orange is a color for Valencia was always a question that I had. Well, uh, yeah, uh, oranges are grown around Valencia, so um, that makes sense. As I said, as a shirt per se, it is not the most exciting number. This one's a whole lot more exciting, but then uh, most Spanish sure home shirts are just your traditional tried and tested ones. Uh, you have either white or you have a strap design, uh, mostly with some white in there as well, which is actually a challenge <laughs> in, in a way. But it is typically Valencia and that's exactly what I needed. So I'm quite happy to have uh, this one in my collection. Now I have home and away for Valencia. What more do you want? Honestly, so I think I'm done with Valencia. The interesting part with the black here is uh, that they add that what I meant. This is basically um, a plastic heat printed on. It's not kind of painted on the material. And then the Puma is just a cutout, which I am a little bit worried about the durability of this one. Uh, but I found this a rather interesting touch. But yeah, uh, as I said, I got used to the orange color. I actually think it looks quite nice. I do wonder if it would have looked better with a black collar, uh, but other, other than that, I know the first for the first time I saw the orange collar, I think even my jersey review, I was not very complimentary on that one. But overall, I think it's a pretty nice shirt. 
what do you think about this one? Uh, let me know if you have any memories attached to it. As I said, for me, it's the one Champions League season where they eliminated Ajax and then were ousted by Atalanta and that kind of spread COVID all, all around in Northern Italy. So there, there you go. In any case, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Did they win the cup? They might have won the cup, but they'll read all the others. It was a season sooner. I'm not one hundred percent. I think it was a season sooner. Anyway, uh, <laughs> now nah, it was a season sooner. It was the season before. Okay, so there's no trophy attached to the, to this one. Um, anyway, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Oh, <laughs>